Welcome back again, viewers. It's been about four months since I crushed these red and white grapes, so it's time to give this homemade wine another taste test. Reasonmachines.com All right, folks, it's towards the end of January, so I think it's time we should try these uh, two wines that I just... Uh, made over the last year. They've definitely taken time to age. I know they were a bit acidic earlier. So we got the white, we've got the red, two wine glasses, so we can taste test. So let's do it. Let's start with the red. Ooh, I don't like the look of what's on the surface in here. It's like bacterial almost. But Try it anyway. I don't know. All the reds I've ever made, I've always had the problem with too much acidity. And I think I need to use a malolactic bacteria to make it work better. So we have the red. It's a little cloudy, maybe because I've been shaking it up, taking it out of the fridge and whatnot. I mean, it smells like wine. It had a little bit of the uh, vinegary smell. I mean, you can kind of see it's got little tears on the side. I shake it around. All right, bottoms up. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. I mean, the acidity, the flavor profile itself is way down. Like, it's not strong in hitting you, but it, you can tell it doesn't really taste like normal wine. I mean, would you buy this in a store and enjoy it? Probably not, but I mean, it's drinkable. Like, you can see I'm not getting like any puckering in my face when I sip this down. Like I think some of the acidity went away, but some of the bad flavors kind of remained. But I mean, not bad. This is the best uh, red I've done ever, so I can't really complain. Not bad. I'll finish that later. Now let's do the white. This I think will be okay because there's a lot less acidity with white. I know a lot of Chardonnay went into it. I'm not sure if this ended up going uh, malolactic either because get the buttery smell. Yeah, let's see. I mean, it's clean. It's very clean and clear. See that camera guy? I am my own camera guy. Let's taste test. And the bottom's up. I think this is worse than the red, to be honest. I'm not sure what went wrong here. But there's this, there, there's something that doesn't taste right. I think it's too dry. Like this shouldn't be as dry. And it's got it's got a little fruity aftertaste, kind of like if you had a Sauvignon Blanc, something like that. Hmm, after the first sip, it gets better. I don't know what was that that was all about at the beginning. Ah, yeah, it's too dry. But hey, I mean, I would say this is uh, the best white I've made with my own grapes. So I'd rate the red higher, just based on the fact it tastes better. I think I got a bit of winemaking to learn, especially for this homegrown wine and these small amount of grapes. I mean, look how much wine we got here, just two mason jars worth. I mean, for a homemade wine, I mean, you can still, uh, Give it out at parties to guests, like, hey, taste this, I made this. I mean, they may not like it, but you made it. And it's still impressive. So that's all I got for you guys today. I mean, I guess we'll just start drinking this now. I mean, maybe it needs to age longer. I don't think so. It's been aging for at least four months. Maybe this needed oak chips. I don't know. Maybe this needed oak chips to bring out the buttery flavor. I don't know. But I'm just going to enjoy it how it is. 